Hey everyone, let's get you an update on running the wheel strategy. This is week three. A quick recap, as you know, I have begun to run the wheel strategy on two stocks, Celsius and Amazon, beginning in February of 2023. Let's give you a quick rundown on what's gonna be my most profitable wheel strategy so far, and that's on Celsius. As you know, in late January, I was assigned 100 shares of Celsius for a strike price of $93. I turned right around the following Monday and I wrote a covered call with a strike price of $101, which means I have built-in profitability if those shares are called away from me. In doing so, I received a premium for $310. Now, throughout the week, I saw some fluctuation in the share price and so I decided to buy to close that contract early. So I had to pay $100 to buy to close my position hence locking in a profit of $210. I did this on the 7th, which means I made that $210 after holding this contract for only one day. The following day, which was the 8th, I turned around and essentially wrote another covered call, slightly lower strike price, but in doing so, I received $170. Now, I let this one also go for another day before I bought to close at $35, which means I locked in profit of $135. The following day, I also sold another covered call, same strike price, but this time for the week of the 17th, and in doing so, I received $235. So not bad, so far, been running the wheel strategy on Celsius, and in premiums alone, I have received a total of $675. So now let's get you an update on Amazon. As you can see here, I have not been able to get as much in premium so far for Amazon in total. I have quote unquote only received $124 in premium. So why is this? Well, you may recall from an earlier video, I sold a cash secured put against Amazon with a strike price of $104. But here's what happened. Amazon had earnings. It did not beat. And essentially throughout the week, we saw the Amazon share price continue to go below 104, below 102, below even $100. So I made a decision rather than being assigned at the 104 strike price, why not just roll that position? And it's one of the most important elements when selling covered calls as well as cash secured puts, knowing when to roll. I would, I would rather much not make as much in premium, but at the same time, I don't own 100 shares with a built-in unrealized loss. So I have rolled my Amazon cash secured put. You can see here on the 9th, I had to buy to close this contract, hence taking a loss on this transaction. But when I bought to open my new cash secured put with a different expiration date, a better strike price, I was able to make net premium of $514, which means in total, I've made $124. So we're gonna go ahead and follow this. Now this contract expires on the 17th. Today is the 14th. Let's go ahead and take a look here at what Amazon is doing. And currently it is at $98.72. It's down about 3% for the week. So we go back to saying, all right, why would I want to be assigned 100 shares of Amazon? for a strike price of 103 when the current share price is well below this. So chances are with this position, I am going to yet roll again. Will I be able to roll out for one week? Would it essentially you know, require me to roll out two weeks? The goal that I'm going to have is obviously to make additional net premium on those rolls. It may not always be possible, but that's also one of the nice things about a stock like Amazon. It does have elevated implied volatility, which means the premiums are going to be better to begin with. So I do feel confident slash optimistic that I will be able to roll this out. What I foresee happening with Amazon is I will try to get closer to the $100 strike price. And if that happens, I feel relatively confident that if I were to be assigned, I can turn around and also start making some significant premiums by selling covered calls. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know, are you currently running the wheel strategy on any stocks out there? We'll see you on the next update. Thanks so much.